it's time for us to get into our community focused conversations and right away we're going to go talk about Ghana water and the challenges that are taking place in the second Takradi area of the western region there's water rationing going on and it's due to a number of factors um, we're going to take a look at a report in shortly but before we get to the report let me just quickly read this for you here um, the Ghana Water, this is on citynewsroom.com, the Ghana Water Company has blamed the activities of illegal miners in the western region for its inability to provide portable water for residents in the Sekundi Takrade metropolis. Now, water shortage has hit parts of Sekundi Takrade and adjoining communities in the western region due to the low level of water at the intake points of the Ghana Water Company Limited in the region. Now, in a statement, in the GWCL explained that the challenges arise from inadequate fresh water inflows into the Pra Basin, which is the source of raw water for the Dabwasi Water Treatment Plant, and the uh, biggest that's the biggest plant in the region. And uh, we have the Anankwari River which supplies the raw water uh, to the Inchaban water treatment plant is equally facing its own fresh water inflow difficulties. Compounding the current problem at the Dabuase, uh, at Dabuase are the activities of illegal miners upstream of the river Pra, uh, causing severe siltation at the plant's intake. And the story goes on to talk about um, you know, the various challenges and so on, um, and dry weather, etc. We have been joined in the studio uh, by the communications um, manager for the Western and Central regions of Ghana Water Company Limited, Nana Yao Berma Banye. And uh, we're going to find out from him exactly what it is that you're experiencing. Nana Yao, good morning. Yes, good Welcome. Morning. Very well. All right. It's good to have you here. Um, now, the, there's, there's been Hamatan for a couple of months. We've experienced that. But prior to Hamatan, we also knew that uh, Galamse was giving you issues and all of that. Which of these factors is the biggest cause, as far as Ghana Water Co um, Company Limited in the Western region is concerned? Thank you very much, sir. And I'm happy to be in your new studio. Thank you. Thank you for joining us here. Yeah. There are a lot of factors, as you have talked about. But currently, there are two factors. The dry season. Mm. Because it doesn't rain, you don't have, as the release said, fresh inflows of uh, water into the basin. Mm. And once you don't have any inflows, it means whatever is there will keep going down mm. and down and down by the day. Then Galamse too has compounded it. This is what Galamse does. Because they agitate the bottom of the river, mm. all the silt under the river comes to the intake. And once the silt comes to the intake, it displaces the water so that it takes the place of the water so that we don't have enough to abstract. So that is what is happening. In fact, if not because of the Hamatan, even though Galamse is taking it so toll on us, mm. because there's so much water at the intake, mm. we will still be able to draw okay. as much water as we can. Okay. But once we get into the dry season and the level goes down and there's so much silt, it means our problem mm. is exacerbated. Mm. So mm. this is what I can say for now. What's the, what's the scenario you're, you're, you're anticipating, let's say, in a month's time, if the rains do not come? <laughs> if you recall, last year, we got to a point that under normal circumstance, in plant operation, we should have shut down. Mm. But you shut down, and what happens? What happens to the hospitals, the schools, the population, residents, mm. what happens? Mm. So we needed to squeeze water virtually out of stone mm. to be able to get some 
potable water to town. So, in fact, I should say that because of this problem, we started dredging last um, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. So as I'm talking to you, we've dredged the intake. Previously, that's just before the dredging, there was something like a drain that was leading water to the, um, to the intake. It was just about 1.5 meter in width. Mm. But after the dredging, we have got about five meters. The width has been expanded to okay. about five meters. Okay. So for now, I should say that we should be able to get a lot more water to Ashton. Mm. Mm. But if the dry season continues for a very long time, we will really be in trouble. Now, mm. um, is, is there something that can be done? Because we always know that dry seasons will come. Yeah. Can we prepare ourselves? Can we, for instance, store water? Is there something we can do to safeguard the situation? Well, let me say that in order to solve this recurrent problem, mm -hmm. the company has started a new treatment plant okay. at Abuasi. In fact, it's the same place where this treatment plant is. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are hoping that will solve this perennial problem. Mm. So once this plant is completed, in fact, it's going to give us 22 billion gallons of water. Currently, the demand for secondary takrade is um, assumed to be about 15, 16 million gallons of water a day. So if we get a plant that is going to give us 22 million gallons, added to the current 4.5, 2.5, it means we should even be able to go beyond demand. Only that we know that once water is available, we are going to do extensions. Mm -hmm. So it may come to a time when maybe all this demand will be taken up. But mm -hmm. once we finish, in the uh, immediate future, we expect that this problem will become a thing of the past. Now, it, it is pretty obvious that the fight against Galamse has become quite a challenge. And I, per where I said, I don't see we winning this anytime soon. Probably maybe in some years to come, we will. Now, with the new treatment plants that have been installed, are they equipment that can better deal with siltation, water coming in from um, Galamse polluted areas? Is this something that you have looked at? Yeah. You know, before you build a treatment plant, you do a lot of studies see the nature of the river. At what point does it go down? And when it goes down, to what extent does it go down? So that in a worst scenario, what can you do? So all these studies have been done, the feasibility studies and all of that has been done. So the new plant is going to give us what you call a bottom ramp, not a dam per se, okay. but like a bottom ramp, mm -hmm. like the ramp that we, you know, um, we construct on our roads. It is going to be a gradual slope so that it will allow the silt to topple over, mm -hmm. but at the same time be able to retain a considerable amount of water for mm -hmm. us to abstract. So all these things have been done. We are going to construct the dam, that's the intake, downstream of the current intake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in fact, the prior river currently, it doesn't mean there's no water within the prior basin. There is water. Mm -hmm. But where we are, because of Galamse and all of that, that we are not getting water. So this new intake will be downstream the current intake so that we, once this bottom ramp dam of a sort is going to be constructed, we should be able to get water every time of the year. Now we have two reports we are going to be playing. Before we do that, I want you to explain in plain language, okay. you know, what the true picture is so that residents who are watching us, authorities who are watching us know that based on ABC, when you get to the treatment plant, this is the problem. And that is why when you turn your tap on, although per the rationing you are supposed to get water, but you turn your taps on, you are not getting water because of ABC. So let us understand what exactly the picture is. Good. Thank you very much, madam. Secondly, as I've said, demands in excess of 15 million gallons of water daily. Mm -hmm. But when we are at our peak, mm -hmm. the Abuasi is able to produce, let's say, 4.5 million gallons of water. Okay. And Chaban gives us about 2.5 million gallons of water. Okay. So that we can get about 7 million. Okay. With the 7 million, you should be able to do rationing such that 
everybody will get some amount of water. There will be equitable distribution of water. So we are able However, to produce half, yes, about half of the yes, demand. Yes, about half of the demand. Mm -hmm. But because we ration, yes. people don't suffer. I also live in Takrade. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So we don't suffer that much yeah. when there's so much water to mm -hmm. abstract. Good. Now, because of lack of adequate quantity of water to abstract, mm -hmm. For example, yesterday, we did about 2 million from Dabuasi. Mm -hmm. And let's say in Traban, that's about 2 million, mm -hmm. a total of 4, four million. Mm -hmm. It becomes difficult. Okay. Now, does it matter the kind of water, whether polluted or clean? Does it really matter? It doesn't really matter, okay. but it does matter. Mm -hmm. It does matter because the more polluted the water, the higher the cost of treatment as far as Ghana Water Company is concerned. Mm. Right. In fact, when people come, especially people in like the whites, mm -hmm. like the contractor, when they came, they are like, "Wow, is this the water you treat?" Mm -hmm. It's like you are treating mad. Mm. Yeah. Yet Ghana water is able to send portable water to the homes of people. Mm -hmm. So it's like we are performing magic. Yeah. So for now, I will say because we need the water so <coughs> badly, it does not matter the water. Mm -hmm. Let's get the water. It is only when the water is just not available that residents suffer. Okay. And we also lose a lot of money. Mm. Because as you don't build the customers, the quantity, the volumes that you're supposed to get and send to them, your revenues go down. Mm -hmm. And once your revenues go down, it affects mm. your operations. Mm. So as I was saying, so instead of it say about 7 million, you're doing 4 million. Yeah. So you will ration the water all the same, but it will not go. Mm -hmm. For example, before I left Takrade, my water was not flowing. Okay. A day came when I put, you know, receptacles in my pickup, going to look for water. The whole day I didn't get water. I brought everything back to the house. Mm. Wow. So that is, so we are also suffering. It's not mm -hmm. as if, you know, it's only those who don't work with Ghana Water Company who are, who are suffering. Mm. So this is the picture. There isn't um, enough quantity of water to abstract. Hmm. Well, hmm. there you yeah, go. I think we should take a look at what happened um, there's a report from last year um, what, at the height of the challenges with water in Secondary Takrade. And then after that will be a report um, with uh, residents, you know, complaining about what they experience. Let's take a look at this report. River Pra is today the main source of raw water that is treated by the Ghana Water Company's water treatment plant here in Dabwase in the Wasa East District of the Western Region. But unfortunately, this is the state of water that is treated by the plant. A look at it tells you that the turbidity or the purity of this very water is in bad shape. This very pumping plant or the intake is where the water is actually pumped into the plant for processing. But a look at it shows that the pumping machines over here are having issues because the water state is what actually impacts on the pumping machine. And according to engineers over here, whenever the turbidity of the water is that bad, it also affects the efficiency of the pump. And for that matter, its ability to actually pump enough water into the plant for processing. We will be going inside the pumping room to actually see the state of the pumping machines and how they work. It could be seen that it is very far below and this is the state of the kind of water that uh, the company has to actually uh, treat uh, for the general masses consumption and as, as you can see it is not really in good taste uh, at all according to the Ghana water company uh, this four pump we actually see here at the intake point or the pumping room where the water is actually pushed from the river into the plant for processing when this pump have to deal with a very bad turbidity of the quality of water coming in here. The pump sometimes even gives up, and that affects the quantity of, I mean, pumping that will actually uh, happen here in the pumping room before the water actually gets to the plant. And the, the issue here is that for the pumps to actually do the work that they have to do, the turbidity of the water or the purity of the water should not be that bad. And whenever it is that bad, it has its own implication on the lifespan or the quality of work the pumps 
have to do. So now I've actually moved inside the Dabwasi water treatment plant proper where we have two main settling tanks. The one actually on my right, I'm told, is supposed to, under my circumstances, have about three million gallons of water. And this one on my left side is supposed to also have three million gallons of water. Inside here at the uh, dividing chamber, I'm told this is where from the intake the raw water actually came into the plant. And over here, the water is actually mixed with alum before it moves straight into uh, the settling tanks. And this very settling tanks has two chambers. You see the primary settling tank over there looks very dirty. I mean, the turbidity of the water over there is an issue. It goes through some kind of processing before it comes to the secondary chamber where the water actually uh, settles. And then you see that there's a serious contrast between the state of the water from the primary uh, chamber and the second, uh, second chamber. And uh, from here, I'm told it goes into that facility over there where several chemicals is actually applied. And don't forget, the Ghana Water Company has always been complaining that a lot of chemicals is, has to be actually used in processing the water before it gets to our individual homes. And that costs them money. And so for them, looking at the state of the turbidity of the water in the primary chamber before it comes to the secondary chamber, this is all cost to the state. And for such monies to actually be spent wisely, the issue of galamse must be checked. It must be nipped in the, in the bud for this country to cut down on the cost of water that is consumed. The demand for water is between 15 and 20 million gallons of water a day. Sometimes I produce 2 million, as I told you, 2 million in a day. And sometimes the water doesn't produce at all, nothing, nothing comes out. Because of Galamse, illegal mining activities upstream the Pra River, there is so much silt accumulation at the intake. This silt deposit makes it very difficult for at least some amount of water to come to the intake. So instead of seeing water there, you would rather be seeing silt. And instead of our pumps abstracting water, instead of drawing water to the plant, it ends up taking silt, sand, into the plant. So this makes it very difficult for us to be able to get adequate quantities of water to abstract. Ghana Water Company, we ourselves cannot stop Galamse. So after touring the plant, we have come to the chemistry lab to actually see what actually goes through in terms of I mean, the processes that the water that is taken, and I mean the raw water, goes through before it becomes I mean, water that is close to something that we can consume. And over here at the lab, as you can see, we've been told that this very water in this glass is the raw water that came from the intake. And several chemicals is actually added throughout this series before we get something that is close to what can actually be considered uh, water uh, to be consumed. And that gives you an idea of the level of or uh, the quantity of chemical expenses that the Ghana Water Company has to actually incur before we are able to get the water that we consume in our various homes. But even in this state, residents within Sekenita Krade still have issues with the color of water that actually comes to them. And so we will be talking to them to find out what they make of the water that actually comes to their homes. I had a offense, the blue yarn, yes, sir. You've been what to us, so pipe or honey, you too. And I feel so pipe on the Nino, and yet, who says you are Nina? I have a tall, and see blue yarn, yes, sir, dear, and I did. Ain't he ever say a pipe or nobody else will chrome, Hannah? And so you to me, I say, be near Nino soon, a bear ye are mine. But you're gonna water me the age, my name soon, and yet I say, Nina, I put on tea. Yes, I'm by say, I'm wine. Negal, I'm saying, I'm sure I'm ran as a man. Here in Intercrady, the uh, availability of water now is very, very bad. In fact, about two months now, we are not getting water. Even if there is water, <laughs> you, you can't even use because the color of the nature of the water itself is very, very bad. We can't compare both the pipe water and uh, 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 the ground water because it's virtually the same. 
In fact, uh, the activities that is going on in the Galante is really worrisome. Now, in fact, we don't get water. I don't know what I'm going to even use to have this evening. Uh, in fact, you always have to rely on tankers and the rest. Until the government stay committed to its promise to fight illegal small-scale mining here in Ghana, this is the kind of water the Ghana Water Company will have to continuously use in treating potable water for the consumption of residents of Sekendi Takrade metropolis. I don't know what to do. I into none of them know what the company fabric and baby were then my call on phone soon body was a soon baby can what if you burn on here but any other choice be there and I know they to me use and can or didn't so burn or the bar on fear one water company will tell you my in soon no way again even girl on an anchor a bunu once they know say card in sooner bar at on once the 80 percent each other or call most to see what am I be and say you bring me fish more but them come soon soon this war moment you are not come on what the uh would this one it's now with him with the girl what I was going to match I want to go school so I don't know my answer I've been to sell what a company for the ones you know solve them problem man I don't know my answer yeah better last month in some bank but what the bill are about the fuel in some about what the bill are about Hundred and seventy city, what the bill about being going through the law of the mountain. See a slow on the power, won't be a mobile over the mountain. All right, so just you know, a few perspectives on what uh, has been going on and people have been experiencing in the second day, Takrade area. So, um, Mr. Bani, the yeah. you've seen the various reports there. Um, it seems as though residents have a perspective of what could be the problem, you know, and why they are going through what they are going. Some of them saying that uh, sometimes they don't get water for even up to a month, and so on. Um, what's the reality from your from your from your um, okay standpoint? Yeah, you know, water flows with pressure. But because of the current situation where you don't have enough mm. to treat, transmit, and distribute, there is an erratic pumping regime. What I mean by that is you pump, and then all the water in the clear well finishes. So you have to stop, mm. and then treat, and store, and pump. So it's like you pump, you stop, you pump, you stop. So you are not able to build adequate pressures in the line. Mm. And once the pressures are not built up, it will be very difficult for the water to, especially if you live in some kind of higher elevated community mm. where you require a lot of pressure for the water to, to come. Climb. But those in low lying areas, sometimes mm. they are able to get some water. Mm. But if your the building is high up there, especially a place like Beach Road, mm and some uh, place called um, some, other, some other communities in Adiembra and okay. things. Uh -huh. If your place is high, it's, it's very difficult. Mm. But it's only those in low-lying areas that sometimes get water. The reason why some people don't get water for a very long time is that you are rushing all the same, but the water is not enough. When the water maybe is just about to get there, then it finishes within the, dry, the, the clear well, and you stop. You start again. You see, you now have to build pressure. That is it. Again it takes a lot. In fact, electricity, once it goes off, mm. and if there's a fault, they fix it. 
and they turn it on, everybody gets water. Yeah. Water is not like that. It takes a long time for you to get to where you were before you stop pumping. Mm. So there's always a problem of being able to, you know, build pressures for water to go to certain places. So this explains why some people, even though it has got to their turn for them to get water, they don't get the water at all. Mm. So that's the problem. Mm. Now, per your monitoring over the period, what can you tell us as Ghanaians? Now, do we have to just um, depend on nature? Do we have to rely on water, rainfall? Do we have to pray harder that it will rain more? Or the new treatment plant that you are installing will take care of our issues? Or per where we are today, we should just brace up for maybe in the coming years to import water. Where do we stand? Can we win this fight of water? Um, if I should say one thing, I will say whatever the cost of eliminating Galamse on river bodies is, you must be prepared to bear that cost and flush out illegal miners from our river, rivers. Or because else. Otherwise, a time will come, the water may become untreatable. You can't treat it. In fact, it's in region. There are plants that for some years, they were not, for more than a year in Eastern region, they were not operating their plant. Why? The water was said that you couldn't treat it. Mm. So you can imagine what the people would do for that over one year, where that treatment, in fact, it was a new treatment plant that had just been built not long ago, yes. Okay. But it had to be shut down for over a year mm. in Eastern region mm. because the water was beyond treatment. So how, how close or far are we from this situation that it will come to a point where we cannot even treat the water? Well, it is difficult for me to give years. Okay. But the, I will the, say... The water you are seeing now, the level of pollution. Uh, I should say about 10 years time, it may be difficult okay. to get, to mm. get, to, to, to get mm. water to treat. Mm. And, and if we can't treat water, what, do, what, what are we going to do? Now, what are he, we going to do? Here's a scenario where the Cocoa Board... Um, <laughs> Uh, has predicted mm -hmm. that in 20 years, I say 20 years is a very optimistic, um, uh, you know, um, time frame. But they say that in 20 years, a river like River Pra and others may actually disappear. At that point, I don't know what we will do. Um, he's saying this because I was born in a typical Ashanti village. Mm. And as a child, every morning before you go to school, you go to the riverside yeah. to bring water yeah. for household chores before yeah. I go to school. Yeah, yeah you carry water. Mm. But those rivers are no more. Yeah. They are extinct. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yes, they are extinct. So if a time will come when maybe my grandchildren may not even see river. river. Yeah. You may not see river at mm -hmm. all. But I have seen a lot of rivers, yeah. and the rivers were clear. Mm -hmm. Water is supposed to be colorless. Yeah. But mm. do you see that thing now? No, water is no longer colorless. So, so what do we do now? Should we all begin to drill boreholes in our homes? I mean, what should we do? What? Uh, hmm. If you live in an area where there's no water, the natural thing you can do is to drill borehole. Yeah. But why should we, as a country, even look on for this to happen? Why? Yeah. There might be something really, really wrong with that. Yeah. I mean, why should somebody in his right senses say that I am going to get onto a river body mm -hmm. to dig down? Because that is where gold is. I, in fact, I'm sorry I should say this. I'm not sure there's any country in the world where gold is mined in rivers. I'm not sure. Except, I haven't heard of that. Except you. Uh, I haven't uh, heard uh, of that. Uh, our own where Diana. gold is mined on river bodies, hmm. but it appears we've lost the fight. It's like we've thrown our arms in the air and it's going on. Why? So in that regard, we should just brace up to probably import water or find water from well, somewhere. Well, when it gets there, where we get the water, we'll, we'll find water. You, you, you spoke earlier about the new treatment plant that was uh, being uh, built. built. How far along are we? How long will it take yeah, for that to be it in is operation? A, if nothing happens, and the way it's going, it goes along that same trajectory. Mm. We expect that by the end of 2025, we should be able to get some water coming from the new treatment plant. End of 2025. Yeah. Now, if so, we are still receiving these kind of waters, 
What will be the lifespan of the treatment plants anyway? Well, we hope that maybe something can be done because I know government has formed committees, now disassemblies, municipal assemblies are tackling it. So let's hope that, you know, something can be done. Mm -hmm. Some way, somehow, mining on river bodies will stop. But we've been fighting Galamse since Rawlings' time. So, but he can only be what hopeful. Hope, I mean, what he hope, doesn't have the How power. much hope can we really well, have realistically? See, if, in, in, in fact, realistically, I am a preacher of the gospel. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm a preacher of the gospel. <laughs> Are you like yeah. a pastor, pastor, or a preacher? A preacher. Okay. I've not been ordained a pastor in my church. I, okay. go, I go to church at Deep Alley Bible Church. Okay. And I'm a preacher. You know, the Bible tells us that hope is very, very important. In fact, without hope, what are you living for? You become like, then you should be dead. Mm -hmm. So you must always have hope. Otherwise, you go and commit suicide. Mm. So hoping that tomorrow will be well, we work so that tomorrow we know they will pay us. It's all about hope. But when Jesus went to the temple, he, he did not hope that the people would stop. He took... A whip. A I whip. see, how ah, can I? Can I have my body? No, that, Go that and flash out <laughs> illegal miners from river body. These people are holding guns. Yeah. Even soldiers yeah. are beaten up. Yes. You know the soldiers mm -hmm. were beaten up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, soldiers were beaten up. So we can only be hopeful. Journalists, your guys from Joy News. Yeah. I mean, they were hustled. Their windscreen shattered and all of that. So, so as a preacher man at this point, <laughs> what you would advise is, I mean, you've spoken <laughs> as a water man, okay. you know, and now as a preacher man, we just have to pray. What I would say is that the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. Yes. Mm. And because of this love of money that has entered the mind of these irresponsible individuals, mm. They are destroying life. You know, they say water is life. What does it yes. mean? Because even your body, yeah. your body mm. has water more than, than uh, blood. Yes. About 75% or so is made of water. So once we deny somebody water, it means we are taking his life out of him. So why should you, for love of money, take somebody's life? They are murderers. Yeah. These and illegal yeah. money are outside murderers. And what do we do to murderers? Mm. Well, yeah. I cannot tell. <sighs> <sighs> All right. Well, enough said. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Uh, Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. But before I go, yes. if you will permit me, Please. I would like to talk about a few things we can do during this time of um, dry, dry season where there's no water to mm. even treat. Mm. We should use water more judiciously. This is how okay. we can do it. Okay. You have a car. We all wash our cars. It is not appropriate at this time to wash your car using hose, water hose. Mm -hmm. You put a hose in the tub and you, no, no, water. you use, in fact, you waste more water than you use in washing the car. Mm -hmm. So let's use buckets, mm -hmm. put pill in it, and use that to wash the car. Mm -hmm. By that way, you use a le less yes, amount water. of water, but you still get your car clean. Mm -hmm. yeah. Secondly, somebody wants to brush the teeth. He has turned on the tub. He's brushing, but the tap is running. It happens sometimes. Mm. So please, take no a cup, <laughs> fetch the water, turn off the tap, brush your teeth, you finish, you rinse, you do, and you are gone. Mm. Please. The same with showering. as good. In fact, the same it is not showering. even now appropriate <laughs> for us to even shower. Use a bucket. Because when you shower, you waste more water. No, you know, when you break it down like this, yeah. you really can appreciate it's the severity practical. of the issue. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if you can't even take a shower anymore, <clears throat> if you can't, you know, do certain yeah. basic things, then we know that we have serious We've problems. Hit the problem exactly. is serious. Is that serious? So please use a bucket, get a pail, and use it to, to, to bath. That way, you use less water, but you still get a good bath. Not only that, we should not, at this critical moment, water our lawns with treated water. Please, the grass are gone now. Definitely, when it rains, it will resurrect. Mm. If there's any word like that, it will resurrect. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. So please, let us not water our lawns with, with treated, treated water. water. Then Ghana Water Company Even is saying... Even if I can afford to buy water? No, no. I, you mean you can go and buy it? Yeah. And, uh, oh, that's, not, that's not good. That's not no, good. no. So I just want us to understand the severity because of the issue. You want because to, you want somebody to. probably will say that I'm buying my own water. Yeah, but you know? but the water that you're buying is possibly also from a treated source. Mm -hmm. 
that and if it's from a treated source, then it comes to the same point because that's a pressure on the on the on the plant that treated but the water. you end up buying more water yeah. Yeah. and throwing it on the ground. Yeah. No, so I just want us to understand that now even if you can afford mm. no, that's the commodity not right. is not yeah. there. Yeah. It's not so it's just like somebody doesn't have food to eat, you go and get food and throw it away. No, yes. that's not right. So please let us know water our lawns with treated water at this time. Ghana Water Company would also want to say this. Please, we are no longer a subvented organization. Mm -hmm. Our day-to-day -day operations, we use our own internally generated funds to do all of that. The water bill people pay 20 cities, 10 cities, 50 cities, 1,000, 10,000. That's what we gather together to buy care makers. Mm. Galamse is making us, in fact, pay so much money in getting chemicals. Water treatment chemicals are very expensive. We import all of that. Look at the city and the, the challenges with it. We have to get so many of that, so much uh, cities, yeah. before we can get some dollars to import uh, you know, these chemicals. Not only that, we pay staff, we buy pipes, we buy fuel, we maintain our equipment and all that. All of that will depend on the water bills. But who pay. is funding the tr new treatment plants anyway? In fact, it's a government. government. It's a loan. Okay. from a, um, a bank in Austria. Okay. So the company that is doing it is from Austria, mm. Strabag. Mm. They are the ones, they are the contractors now. Right. So it is all of that money that we use in doing all of this. Mm. Yeah. So if you receive your bill and you throw it somewhere, you are making it very, very difficult for Ghana Water Company to continue to remain in business mm. to supply you water. Mm. Remember, we are the only urban uh, portable water producing company in Ghana. Mm. If you want to pay your bill, very simple. Use your mobile phone, Momo, use it. Airtel Tigo, Vodafone Cash, yeah. use it. One, one star 170, that is uh, for Momo. Yeah. Um, you need to pay. Momo. Or you can um, download Ghana Water Company customer app okay. on Google Play Store or mm -hmm. App Store. Very simple. Once you, you download the, uh, the customer app, mm -hmm. it gives you your billing history, your payment history, your balance, and all of that, you can still use it to pay your water bill. Right. In order to give you comfort, we right. have provided this electronic payment platform so that you don't need to walk to any pay point or Ghana Water Company office mm. or a bank right. so that you can pay your bill. Right. Please pay your bill for us, and we need the money. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you very much, Nanaya. Now, the government can help all of us by making sure that we win the fight against Galamsey. Yep. And yep. that is why, for mm -hmm. us here at City TV, City FM, we still say that ban Galamsey now.